Uh, you know, what a comeback, huh? And uh, great group of kids. I mean, I, I've told our media, the local guys all year long, we, uh, we started in August, we have never had a bad day. There's never been a bad day at practice. There's never been a bad, bad game we played. And uh, just not a bad day at school. They do a lot of stuff the right way. And, uh, you know, uh, we reap the benefits of that tonight. So, uh, man, what a night for the Cavaliers. Hey, Coach, I got a few questions for you. Uh, Coach Gilman. Where are you at? Over here. Oh, over here. Okay. Hey, hey, Coach, first of all, I ask you, well, first, congratulations. And then, B, is this the greatest game you coached? And on top of that, after the first quarter where St. Charles stopped y'all offensively and had a few mistakes, how were y'all able to adjust in quarter two through four? Uh, you know, first, uh, you know, we won this championship in 2020 at Northwestern, and I always told people, you know, I really don't think it matters where you play. It's just winning the championship, but this is different. I'm going to tell you, whoever says that, you know, they're wrong because uh, this is different. Uh, you know, our kids, we can score the football. We have all year long, and the kids have confidence that, that we can score, and uh, we didn't do anything different. Same plays we ran in the first half. I think they got a little tired. Uh, I think they got a little tired in the second half, but we could run the ball on them too that second half. So, uh, you know, but we finally made some plays. We, we didn't make plays in the first half. We drove the ball and didn't score. And, uh, but, you know, hey, when it was on the line, they came through. Question. My question is for James Simon, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know this, but your dad was the class one day, most outstanding player, scored three touchdowns in 1996. Now you're. Uh, um, the most outstanding player of the state championship game scoring three touchdowns. How did it feel to find in his footsteps? Um, you know, me and him always have our talks about uh, running back stuff. And, you know, better, and I always try to be the better one. I try to say I'm better than him. Uh, but he can say whatever he wants about this. Since uh, he, he might have a little bit more stats than me in this. But, you know, it's at the same game, at the same level now. So I feel like, I feel like I'm getting, getting close to him. I'm going to be over him by the time I get to that next level. Um, Coach, uh, and to all of you guys, first of all, congratulations on an incredible, incredible comeback tonight. Um, at 28 to 13, what were you telling your team down 15 points against that team that, that has been known to close teams out? What was the message to your team at the time you were down 15 points? Well, you know, we told them all week long we had to keep the game in the 20s. Uh, I mean, they're good on defense. And, uh, if, you know, if, they had, if we got it up in the 30s, I thought we'd have a hard time to win. But, again, you know, we've got – some very, very good offensive players. And, you know, they, they gave us a chance going forward on fourth down and, you know, a short field. And, uh, you know, great plays by the quarterback. Question. I have a question for uh, Abram. Abram, what you, on those last two touchdown drives, what did you see in the St. Charles defense that made you uh, throw the touchdown pass and move the ball down, down the field efficiently? Honestly, they're doing the same thing since the beginning of the game. I just trusted uh, my, my guys that they were going to get open. It was the best skill position core in the, in the state. My other line gave me four seconds every time. And so I just trusted our, our team to want to get that game. Question. Coach, talk about your team's perseverance, especially in the fourth quarter with your comeback. What's that? I'm sorry. The perseverance of your football team with your comeback in the fourth quarter. Well, again, you know, they, they, there's one thing these guys are, they are phone going off. Uh, got 87 text messages. Uh, anyway, they, you know, one thing they have, they're very confident. And uh, sometimes I think they're too confident. But, uh, you know, again, we needed a chance. And, uh, you know, we got the first score. And, uh, you know, I felt good. You know, we weren't going to try to set it up for a field goal. We were going for a touchdown, I, you know, because they, they were good. They already blocked the extra points, so it was score or, or get beat, you know, for us. And uh, But, again, you know, great players make big plays at the end of the game. And, you know, I'm fired up. All three of these guys are juniors. So we they all coming back next year with a bunch of other guys. So we were excited about that. For Coach and April in particular, uh, in this May play and what you said earlier about them getting a little tired, Coach, uh, it seemed like on those last two drives, you, Abram, you didn't have, you had better protection. They didn't get to you as quickly. You had some heat earlier in the game that didn't seem to be there at the end. Would that be accurate? And you want to talk about the offensive line? Give me that time. 
I mean, um, all I had to do in the game was just trust the one. I knew that they were going to hold up sometimes in the game. In the first half, they had an outstanding game. I put them in bad situations sometimes, but uh, they blocked them based on the last two guys. And this is for Coach. Yeah, this is for Coach. Uh, you know, the, the mantra defense wins championship. We talk about the offense, how supposed to y'all been all this season, but when it came down to it, the defense made a stop, the defense stood up and made a fourth down uh, stop. So what do you have to say about the defense, not only getting that stop, but also the seal of the game at the very end as well when your, when your team needed it? Yeah, it was huge. And our, uh, <clears throat> our coaches gripe at me, all the defensive guys, they say, all you care about is the offense, you know, because that's what I like. But, uh, you know, we, we made big plays the last three weeks. You know, we got a big pick last week against Newman to end the game when they were trying to tie it up. We got two big picks against Parkview uh, on defense, and they played well all year long, and, and they just get overshadowed. And uh, But, hey, I think they've given up, you know, 150 points all year long. And uh, we played some good football teams early in the year. And uh, so, you know, hats off to them. Those guys did a great job. Coach, in the past, I've talked to you at the end of the season, you felt like some of your district games, uh, your guys ran out of gas, and here in this championship game in the, in the Dome, uh, your guys being in condition to make plays in the fourth quarter is the difference. Could you talk about you know learning uh, from past years and being able to uh, get you guys to play hard to the last whistle? Yeah, you know, we, our, our season is really three pieces. We play very, very tough early in the year. And, uh, and then we have a stretch where just because of who we play, you know, we don't get a whole lot of reps in the game. But uh, I tell you, we have worked very hard. We, we ran every day. It didn't matter who we were playing. We lifted weights the whole year. We never stopped, including this week. And, uh, you know, we work very hard. Our goal at our place is to, when we start August 1, we're game ready, conditioning-wise. And, and we do that during the summer. So. Uh, you know, and they buy into the process. And uh, so I think you saw tonight, you know, I, I really believe the, the fourth quarter, I know they were tired and the rush wasn't as good. The coverage wasn't as good. And, uh, you know, we, we made the play step one. Question. This one for Abram. You get the ball with 44 seconds left. You lead the team on a game winning drive on the touchdown pass. You look left and come back right. So what's going through your head in that moment, and was that kind of part of the plan to maybe look off a defender and just kind of develop that way? Yes, sir. Uh, looking off the safety, trying to bait him to the left, come back to my guy, KT, uh, on the bender, and uh, he beat his man, and that, that's all she wrote. Mm -hmm.